What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. The Savage Strike leaks have officially started, and we are going to talk about them and break them down in this video. We don't know every single thing that is in this set yet, but we got enough to talk about, and we know about some of the rarities in this set. We also know about the uh, world premiere and TCG exclusives, including new danger support, a brand new kaiju hand trap, which <laughs> is kind of crazy, right? Like a kaiju hand trap and a new TCG exclusive exclusive archetype that has been revealed it's an xc based archetype which is interesting that it's premiering in savage strike not dark neo storm we also know about some of the imports that we're going to get from the ocg some very good ones although i will say this as of right now crystal needle fiber is not confirmed if that does uh, if that information does come out later i will make a follow-up video because that is pretty much a that's like a meta shattering card that everybody needs to know about but let's go ahead and talk about the stuff that we do currently know about we got some uh, salamander great cards here as the salam ambassador I am, I am obligated to at least talk about these cards, even though they, they are not the cards that, you know, you're generally going to use if you're trying to run the most meta version of Salaman Greats. We got Wolfie, Foxer, and Paro. I believe Paro is like level 5. It's like a weird kind of like hand trap thing. Soul Burner used it in the show, I believe in his duel versus uh, Blood Shepherd. But out of these three, the only one that I would even suggest you kind of consider would probably be Foxer. Kind of like an MST that activates from the hand. It can summon itself from your graveyard if um one of your opponent's spells and traps are in their spell and trap zone is blown up it can special summon itself for free but generally you're not going to actually be playing these cards in the salaman great deck if you're looking to play the most competitive version of it we have a huge ocg import and that is actually Subterra Guru is confirmed to be in this set. You guys know that I said that if Subterra Guru was in Savage Strike, which I was just kind of crossing my fingers. I was just kind of hoping. I didn't really think that it would necessarily be in here because it's not really like, you know, Subterras are a synchro-based deck. They're actually technically link-based. But this is a card that can actually potentially give us a Tier 1 deck. If players are smart enough and they build this deck right, we've seen in the OCG, this deck can actually go pound for pound with uh, Salaman Greats. And it can beat other decks that are top tier just because Scepter Guru is such a good card it has built-in disruption with that book of moon like effect plus it has a search effect built into it as well this is a card that honestly makes the entire Subterra archetype, and you know, it's really nice because it is only a common. So for you Subterra players out there, definitely be looking to get your Gurus. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get an entire playset for like, you know, maybe $4 or something like that. I don't anticipate it'll be an expensive card. We've got Trickstar Live Stage. This is, uh, you know, a card that's Trickstars are probably going to run, I don't know, maybe one copy if you decide to run this. This is the one, uh, I, don't, I don't like Light Arena that much. I do love Light Stage, obviously. Obviously, but this is the one that when you activate it, you can add a trick star from your graveyard to your hand, which is, uh, you know, it's different from light stage. <clears throat> This card cannot be hit with Ash, but it can be hit with Ghost Bell. And I like it because it can add things like Lily Bell back from your grave, and then you can summon them. You can also get Trickstar Carab uh, Carabine from your graveyard to your hand. So this card definitely does have some utility. Obviously, as I've said before, they're never going to top Light Stage ever. I don't think they're even aiming to top Light Stage. But you could potentially see Trickstar players run one copy of this because, you know, no one, no one wants dead terraformings late in the game. We've got a brand new Danger Monster, and it is a level 8. It's also... Uh, um, an ultra rare and it's basically it's not exactly the the best monster when it comes to stats because it only has 1200 attack but it has a 3k booty very similar i guess to nessie um this one is a foolish burial for the danger archetype and it's just like okay i mean i don't know if i would rather run like i would probably just rather run bigfoot because bigfoot pops a card although if you're going first i guess bigfoot is not going to be useful because your opponent's not going to have any cards on the field so you danger players let me know is this a card that you would want to use i guess it also depends if konami has any more danger Danger spells and traps are you know hidden in this deck then there could be something that's really good to get foolish into the graveyard who knows but this card um is danger um ogo ogo pogo which is just these danger names are freaking weird man we also have witch's strike it's confirmed to be a secret rare, which, uh, you know, I would have been fine if this was actually a solemn counter trap because <laughs> solemn strike was a secret rare and solemn scolding was a secret solemn warning way back in duelist revolution was an ultra and an ultimate. Those cards were worthy of those uh, rarities, but this is not a solemn card and it's not even a fucking counter trap and it doesn't stop like summons or anything like that. So I feel like this card is only getting the rarity bump because of the artwork and the fact that it has 
you know, God from Solemn, the, from the Solemn storyline on it. I really want to know where the storyline went. Like, I'm more interested in seeing the storyline than I am in this card. So, hopefully, in this era of Yu-Gi-Oh, we will get a Solemn trap. I estimate maybe Ra Rising Rampage or the set that comes after it will get our Solemn counter trap. We also have a bunch of Ultra Rares. Everything from our beautiful and magnificent cover card that is Boiled Savage Dragon. If you guys have any interest in picking up um, the Orcus deck, you 100% are going to need a Boiled Savage Dragon because they can summon that card. Especially, well, if we get Needle Fiber, then they definitely will summon this. And uh, you know, if you've never seen Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns, this is the this is like the most hype summon in the entire show. <laughs> you guys have got to watch Reigns and see when Revolver summons Boiled Savage. It's actually fucking magnificent. We've got the Guard Dragon uh, continuous spell card really good it's good in red eyes as well bringing back one of your low level dragons uh, from your graveyard for freezies seems pretty legit we got cybers quantum dragon i like to call it grand mole dragon basically although is it a dragon or is it i think it's pretty i think it's a cybers card so i don't know if i can call it grand mole dragon a couple of shirinui cards that are both actually um the ultra rare which is uh nice for shirinui to get some love we got the danger card that we just looked at and trickstar caribbean is in this set another amazing ocg import and it works with um with live uh live stage because you can uh, use trickstar caribbean in earlier turns and then you can activate live stage add it back to your hand and it can be pretty dang nice we saw this used in um the soul burner duel and uh Yu -Gi -Oh! reigns which i guess i'm spoiling the plot of the show <laughs> no more spoilers we also have a new kaiju and House of Champs actually predicted this. He looked at just the artwork, and the artwork was blurry as hell. But he was like, yo, I think that's a kaiju. And <laughs> turns out he was actually right. Now, I don't know if he could have guessed that it was a hand trap kaiju. Because this guy is so weird. It says during the main phase, you can discard this card. Banish one kaiju monster you control that is owned by your opponent. So if your opponent kaijus you, then you get to use this as a countermeasure <laughs> to that kaiju. <laughs> oh, Lord. It says you can special summon one monster from your graveyard, and you can only control one kaiju monster so you basically get whatever you want this this card becomes a way of outing the kaiju but then also like a monster reborn as well this guy also says if this card is in your graveyard you can special summon this card during the end phase so i mean even if you foolish burial this you can just revive it during the end phase for free it's an interesting card and i guess it's meant to counter kaijus for anyone out there who's complaining kaijus are broken i know there were some people that are like kaijus are bad for Yu Gi Oh, and i guess konami made this to kind of you know be the answer to those players out there we have a brand new archetype called the time thieves i, I don't know why they're xc based even though they're in a synchro set <laughs> it seems like they they should have came out in dark neo storm but i'm not exactly sure what to make of them they are rank four it appears they've got a bunch of cards the artwork looks pretty interesting uh somebody said that this looks like joker from <laughs> persona 5 i had to give that one a little i had to give that one a little laugh i thought that that was actually kind of funny um yeah it looks like they got a good amount of monsters so far i think they only have one xc but this is obviously not going to be you know an archetype in a vacuum they're not just going to get one set of support because they are a tcg exclusive archetype all their cards apparent apparently are like common or low rarity so you know hopefully we'll cross our fingers and maybe konami wants them to be competitive but as of right now i don't want to like i've got to really like look through them and uh, you know try to figure out what they can work with before i want to actually make a judgment on them i don't want to be like ah they're trash and then they come out and they end up being like a rogue deck and being somehow meta or something like that but just a nice little archetype i'm pretty sure you guys will check them out at your leisure and then one of the more shocking things salaman great sunlight wolf so some people were predicting this was i predicted it was it was going to be a secret rare because konami has shafted soul burners so much and right now they're going to start pushing him as a character so hard that salaman great sunlight wolf is only a rare i thought this card was going to be like a 50 dollars secret rare and i was like all right well you're gonna have to drop 150 on my salaman great sunlight wolf but nope <laughs> turns out cap's gonna be able to get all three of them babies for like five dollars so <laughs> oh man konami just saved me a lot of money personally I would have liked to see the card maybe as an ultra rare because it probably would have been like a twenty dollar ultra, twenty five dollars or something like that. But you know, a rare is fine. It does. It definitely needs to be rarity upgraded. Like this needs to be an ultimate or like a super rare in one of the OTSs because this is uh, pretty much like the win condition in the Salamander deck. You just kind of sit on this card and make plus twos every single turn and just outgrind your opponent. But I was totally shocked that this is only a rare. And for the second set in a row, they've shafted him. I know what they're gonna do. They're gonna make Violet Chimera. A, a ultra rare and then they're gonna make um fusion of fire a, probably like a super lastly we've got a couple of shiranui cards 
because Shiranui are one of the push archetypes for this set. Them and uh, what's it called? TG, Tech Genesis are getting a bunch of support. But what do you guys think of Savage Strike so far? A lot of it, a lot of crazy information and, you know, stuff to talk about in this set. Again, we're still crossing our fingers and we're waiting for Needle Fiber. That's the big card a lot of people are looking at. We already know in Cherubini and other stuff. Although, there could be cards, you know, from Link Frames too. There could be things like Trap Trick Sarah. There could be Scrap Wyvern. Scraps are also single base so konami could put them in here because maybe they're trying to just push a lot of synchro decks we'll um you know obviously we'll we'll have to wait and see but if anything else crazy comes out guys i will update you on that so whatever you guys think leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos um in before hidden city buyout i'm just gonna go ahead and say that oh and actually one last thing before i go because this uh leak situation is fluid it's uh you know something that is moving and we're getting new information by the minute it appears while i was shooting the video it's also confirmed <laughs> that red rising dragon is in this booster set as well 